All right, so what we're going to do, Dave, we're going to change oil in this 150 Mercury. Uh, do they, they recommend every one year or 100 hours. I do mine every six months. Uh, I've been getting my oil through Bass Pro. I got it offline this time with Quicksilver. Uh, but here we go. The hardest part of this whole job is getting the hood off, putting it back on. They may be so tall, it's got to get a ladder or somebody else to do it. But let's do it. Let's change oil on this 150 Mercury outboard. Okay, so we got the hood off the motor. There's your oil filter. There's your drain pan. You call it like an auxiliary drain pan. When you take that oil filter off, it's going to build up some oil down inside there. There's a little plug there. We're going to take that clear tube and we're going to hook it up here. Get the oil all changed, get it all drained out, and I'll walk you through exactly how to do it. Uh, it's a simple process, easy process, don't take very long. Do it at least once a year, whether you got 100 hours on them or not. I, once a year for sure. Change your oil. The 150 Mercury's are bulletproof and are going to be bulletproof even longer if you take care of it. But here we go. We're going to change oil in this baby today. All right, so first step we're going to do is we're going to unloosen the drain plug. And we are just going to barely crack it. We got a 5 8 deep well socket. Reach up in there, make sure you got a good snug fit on it, and just barely crack it open. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It just, it don't take much to break it open. We're gonna take this tube, we're gonna slide up over top of our drain plug. Get it up there all nice and snug, and we're gonna turn it. We're gonna only gonna open it like maybe, maybe one maybe one turn just until we start to see the oil come out All right, so we got all the oil drained out. We're gonna take this hose and we're gonna stretch it just a little bit and run the rest of that out because we're gonna use that hose up here on that plug up here on the top. Get that last strip out of there and then we're gonna turn this right here to where it's hand tight. All right, there. And we're just gonna twist that hose right off that plug. Just like that, no drip. Hats off to Mercury for coming up with this. That's pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Makes it pretty easy, pretty clean too. Now we're going to take our 5 8 socket, put it back on there. It's going to go just a little bit past snug. And that's it. That's all that come off that. Hats off to them. Good job. All right, so let's go up here and let's do the oil filter. Okay, so up here at the top, you've got your oil filter. Oil filter, your dipstick, and there's a drain plug right here. This here is a little catch pan. So when you're taking your oil filter off, Whatever oil comes out from around there is going to go inside that catch pan, and then we're going to drain it out with that same tube that we drained the motor, the oil out of, out of the crankcase. So let's get this little plug off. We're going to take a little plug, and we're going to set it off to the side. And like I said, all that is is just an open hole to get to that drain pan, so there's nothing you got to loosen up on this. We're going to take our little 5 8 piece of tubing, and I don't expect a whole lot to come out of that. Maybe what's inside the oil filter might, but it's not, it shouldn't be much. So we're gonna use our oil filter wrench. Now I like these style oil filter wrenches. The only thing you gotta be careful of is you wanna keep the jaws right here on the edge of the oil filter. Just like that. That's, that's your heaviest part of that oil filter. Sometimes you get way up here on the inside, you can crimp it and smash it. You end up making that oil filter a big pain in the butt to get off and hopefully this one isn't going to be, let's see. All right, we got it, it's breaking loose. I'm gonna tear that oil filter up though. I think they had it on pretty tight. Now you'll see as we get that oil filter loose, it's gonna drip down that pan. I would definitely buy the socket piece that goes over top of it for this oil filter. I had one, I couldn't find it. I went to Walmart and got this one. And you might start to see a little bit of oil come out of this one.
That's it, just like that. We got it off. So we're gonna take a rag, some paper towels, we're gonna clean up around that. We didn't even get no oil in that. I let that I let that crankcase drain for a long time. Alright, so we're we're gonna clean all that up, do a little inspection, make sure our threads look good. We're gonna clean out anything that was in that pan. Which wasn't much, there wasn't a whole lot that came out of that filter. Dry it all off, clean it up. Now, let's get our new filter ready to go. Okay, so we got this outboard takes 6.3 quarts of oil. I use uh, Quicksilver. I like Quicksilver. It's mercury certified, all that stuff. But we're going to get our oil filter. We're going to take our little protective wrapping off of it. Probably child proof. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to open it up. Of course, I got a sealer on the tops of every one of them. We're gonna take a little bit of that fresh oil, get it on my fingers, and we're gonna work it around that gasket. It's like that. Maybe a little bit on the threads inside there. So now we got our filter ready to go on. All right, so we're gonna take our Quicksilver oil filter get it to where it's hand tight tell you the truth I really don't want to use this wrench but we're just gonna be really really careful with it put a wrench on I'm gonna snug it just a little bit more and that's it we'll pull our tube off Put our little plug back in. There we go. So to put the oil in, we gotta go all the way up here to the top of the outboard. So let's go up there and get our oil put in. All right, so right here on the top of your engine, that's where your oil fill cap is. That's where we're gonna put the oil in. Get our quart of 10W30 Quicksilver. Of course, they got the child-proof lids on them. 6.3 quarts. Then we get it all back together. We get back out on the lake and start catching some crappie. I'm gonna find a funnel. It's got like a 90 degree bend in it. Court number one. And we'll be back. All right, so we got all six quarts in. Put our filler cap back on. Let's go check it and see where it level's at. Okay, dipstick. Let's check our dipstick and see where we're at. I'm pretty sure she was full, without a doubt. I don't think it did stick out. Well, we're there, we're good. We are good, ready to get back on the lake and start catching some crappie. There you go, just that simple. Easy maintenance on your own boat. Mercury's made it pretty simple. They, uh, you Google it up, there's probably a video for it. So right there, simple 100 hour or every six months is what I do it. Uh, I was getting all my stuff straight from uh, Tracker Marine, but I went Quicksilver this time and just ordered all my own stuff offline. Um, if if I can find a link to it, I'll 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 put some links up. The Quicksilver is what I've always used in my boats. I trust it. Uh, there it is. Pretty simple. All right, so there you go. That was how I changed my outboard motor oil. Next week I'll probably do the lower unit. 
Let me know what you think about this video. Did I use the right oil, the wrong oil? Uh, like, share, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it.